There's a Thunderbird over there. How come he's just standing around? He was supposed to be protecting the the root, but apparently he was on his coffee break or something. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and uh, do some cleanup of the quest in the Springlands. Um, and the reason for that is because one of you guys left me a comment um, indicating that um, several of these question marks uh, could be shroud roots and definitely going to be worth going after them uh, for the, you know, for the, uh, the skill points. Uh, so that's the, the main goal uh, for at least for the first part of the episode, depending upon, you know, how quickly we can get through that. Um, and let's see, there's a few, few other things I want to mention. Um, I am back from uh, my trip. I was gone for about a week uh, to Las Vegas for a business trip. Um, and no, I didn't win any money, but I made some money. <laughs> and, uh, so I, uh, I, I'm still about as of the time of recording this episode, I think I'm about six or seven episodes still ahead of you guys. Uh, even from what I had recorded, you know, before I left. Um, and so what, uh, what I just want to say to everybody is that if you guys leave me a, a tip that, uh, you know, like a useful tip saying something like, you know, make sure you use your wood axe or your pick when you're destroying the bug nest, that kind of thing. And then you don't see me doing that um, after leaving that tip. It's it's probably because I recorded, you know, I, I've pre-recorded several of these episodes, so I'm, I just hadn't seen your comment at the time that I recorded that. So I do appreciate you guys' comments, you know, when you leave uh, good tips like that and try to remember to, um, you know, follow those tips when, uh, you know, when, when they make sense to do so, of course. Um, so I just want to mention that and let's see what else did I want to tell you guys. I think, um, yeah, I think that's mostly it. I, I spent some time off camera after the last episode, um, just doing some more, you know, grinding, getting more iron, that sort of thing. I found a really nice, uh, melee helmet back at the iron mine. It's this one, yes. This Gloom Monarch helmet, and I believe that's part of um of an in the game set. So very cool looking helmet. Not really going to do us much good because we are, you know, a ranged character. But uh, I did want to point that out to you. Uh, we have the Fell Sickle Scythe head too. Um, let me let's take a quick look and see uh, what we have left for strength strengthening the flame. So we've got sulfur, saffron, iron, lapis. The only thing I don't have is yucca fruit, so maybe if if we have time later on this episode, maybe we'll go back to the Kindle Waste and see if we can find ourselves some yucca. Uh, you guys also told me in the comments that I can get aloe by uh, by cutting the aloe plants with an axe. I was just, for whatever reason, was thinking we would just pick that by hand, so that was a good tip because I need aloe for a few things. And, um, you know, several more recipes of things have been unlocked. Uh, since I, I made the iron bars, um, and honest to God, I, I don't I don't remember what all there is, but there's just like this iron bench and stuff like that. So, you know, there's just so many cool things that have been unlocked, you know, from, you know, from learning iron ball bars themselves, including the improved water well, which I would like to make. Um, I don't know if I have any sandstone, but I'm sure we get that just from digging in the Kendall Waste. So, yeah, um, also... We now have the ability to make the deer stalker set, which is supposed to be like one of the best end game, at least craftable uh, sets. So, but we can't do that until, you know, until we can make padding. And in order to make padding, I think we have to do another quest for our hunter. Uh, yeah, we have to find this loom. So, so we should be, you know, making that a high priority uh, as soon as possible. Oh, but that does remind me, as far as I can tell, we don't need to, we don't actually need to find new tools for the blacksmith in order to make the iron, uh, the iron stuff. So, uh, we can actually make the iron axe, um, and the, the pickaxe, which I've already done. So, so this is, this is the actual iron pickaxe. So I already made that. Um, but I'm just waiting for more bars to craft. Uh, 10 bars, iron bars. Yeah, so we have some bars there. So we should be able to now also make the axe. 
the iron axe. Yep, let's do that. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we have upgraded our both of our harvesting tools uh, to the iron variants, which is fan freaking tastic. Uh, okay, yeah, lots of other things, like I said, have, have been unlocked um, once I made that first batch of iron bars, which, of course, I used uh, to make the pick. Um, let's look at, at Emily for a second. So, so we now have a reason. My goodness, look at this four strength and two constitution, but that that's, that's some um, melee, uh, you know, warrior food, but it's still really, really good food. But we now have a reason, you know, to start hanging on to grilled wolf meat again, because I've kind of been chucking it lately since I haven't used it in a while. Uh, the meat wrap is going to be constitution and intelligence. So that's really mostly a caster food, but five constitution is a lot of health. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, oh yeah, we can do five endurance now from spiced tea, um, which we can actually make now. Um, let's make five of these, but I want to hang on to some saffron there so that we can, you know, plant it. Uh, but that spiced tea will take the place, I believe, of the chamomile tea. Uh, we can also now make fertilized farm soil, which will... Uh, uh, increase the growth speed even more than just the normal. I uh, need to get some sand. I can't make nitrate yet, though, until we do this quest for the for the alchemists, you know, to, to do that. So lots of stuff to do yet. Um, I haven't done any more work down here because, um, like I said, I've just been gone in real life. Uh, but I'll, I'll get back to this at some point. But nothing's really changed, you know, uh, from the last episode. I did. Let's see. Did I... Now we got a an upgraded arsonist bow, twenty five twenty two. Yeah, this should be actually in our main weapon slot now. I think we got this off the fell sickle scythe boss um, in the last episode, and then I'm guess I'm using this now as my as my backup bow. Okay, so let, let's look at the strength and the flame again for a minute. We need. Sulfur, saffron, lapis. Yeah, yucca. So that, that's right. Uh, that's the one thing we don't have. Okay, so we'll keep the fell sickle scythe head here for now. I still haven't fixed my my chest over here, but this is my head's chest. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to put a couple things away, and then we're just going to systematically go visit every single question mark in the Springlands that we have not visited yet. Um and in hopes to, you know, find, well, that's just going to be it. I mean, if we come across a, you know, one of these quests, we'll do it just for the hell of it. But, um, you know, and mostly what we're doing is we're looking for more shroud roots so we can get some more points. Speaking of which, do I have, oh, shoot, I've got six points. My word. Okay. So let's look at this real quick. Um, I think we had everything we wanted in Survivor. We have everything we wanted in Ranger. Uh, I'm just not finding this to be a super useful skill, situational skill. I'm not finding that to be a super... You know what, though? Hmm. I mean, getting headshots for us, particularly, you know, with our armor set, is pretty important, and this could help with that. I'll keep that in mind, I suppose. But what we've been doing is we've been focusing on some melee skills and, some, and just general health. Um, and I think... You know, Barbarian doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for us to go into. But your parry bashes the enemy for 20 blunt damage. You gain 30 stamina when you parry it. In. This is kind of good stuff here. Constitution Strength, Constitution Blood Warrior. Gathering the orb replenishes 10% of your health. I mean, that's yeah, that could be good stuff, but, you know, we're not really interested in tank because that's multiplayer. So I think it makes the most sense for us to, to go towards the warrior tree and over overpower an enemy to trigger a truck uh, a shock wave that increases nearby enemies stun bar and pushes them back fill their stun bar by attacking them while they block by parrying their attacks okay that could be good too but again let's just focus on m just making our character a little stronger just in general and i think warrior is what we want to do so this guy's going to give us uh just 10 percent more damage from melee um so let's take that um, meat now increases health by an additional 15%. After defeating a shroud-infested foe with a melee weapon, you replenish five seconds of shroud time. Mm. 
Physical armor gains 10% more armor points. More strength. Yeah, let's just take more strength. I mean, that's not... That's actually pretty... Well, does that just mean normal meat, though, or does it mean a meat dish? All melee cutting damage is increased by an additional... All melee blunt damage is increased by additional 10. All melee piercing damage is increased by an additional 10. Hmm. Physical armor gains 10% more armor points. What is our current weapon? It is cutting and the blunt. That's cutting blunt and piercing. All right. So. Slasher. Butcher. All melee cutting damage is increased by 20%. Hammer time. Blunt damage. Pierce. Okay, I'm I'm thinking let's go slasher. And when we have more points, we'll probably do these as well, I guess. Um if you guys know though, let me know in the comments if this applies to any meat dish or if it only applies to eating meat, you know, just straight up, you know, like the barbecued ribs and things like that this could be good too uh, allows you to attack faster with one-handed swords and axes when attacking with a melee weapon your critical hit chance is increased by 10 percent. that's really good and that's strength constitution and constitution yeah so we'll probably eventually fill all of this out um you know as we continue to get more points um we shouldn't completely ignore the mana stuff though and updraft would be nice to have at some point what does Be Gone do? A magic powered punch that pushes. I think you have to do that unarmed, though, which I'm not really interested in. Uh, so, yeah, we'll look at some of this other stuff, too. But anyway, um, we need to get going here if we're going to accomplish anything today. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and, and repair that. And then, what we're going to do first is we're just going to start in this corner. Um, so, let's mark this as our waypoint. And I'll meet you guys over there, and we'll see what's going on with this. Okay, we're getting close to the spot here. And um, hopefully this is, in fact, a shroud route for us to get the get a point with. Never been over here, obviously. Yep, that is a shroud route. Cool. Cool. doesn't appear to be any enemies around. Excellent. Okay, so that gives us another skill point. Uh, so we have a total of two. Uh, those require th three. Slasher. Butcher. Three. Blunt damage is two. Thrust is two. Physical armor gains 10% more armor points. I kind of like that, actually. Um, well, no, let's uh, let's keep focusing on, on this. So I think let's take... Th uh, no, our axe doesn't do piercing, does it? Okay, so let's take brute next. And like I said, we're just going to keep working up this warrior tree here. All right, let's take a look at our map. Next thing on the list is up here, um, yeah, uh, north of the Egerton Salt Mines. As, fa as a matter of fact, I, as I recall, uh, I think we may have, well, I don't know. We A long, long time ago when I did the Egerton Salt Mines, I came to a, a, a place over here and I started to go into it. I think it might be here, though, and then I... I, I, I left it again because we started running out of, um, uh, you know, shroud timer. But that was, you know, that was, of course, a long time ago when we were first still new to the game. I also uh, took a look at this. And th this actually is not exactly the, the same as chamomile. This gives us five endurance. This gives health regeneration. So it's not a, a, a direct replacement for that. Um, speaking of which, 
Uh, well, you know what? Let's just go. Let's head down there first, and then we'll worry about buff foods later. Because I mean, we're in, we're kind of in noob zone, so I'm not really too concerned about uh, anything. All right, yeah. So let's head that way. Oh, by the way, if I didn't already show you this, this is the new advanced or ultra glider or whatever. I like the little purple contrails that it has. It's very cool. I think I can see a shroud route. Well, no, that's not a shroud route. That's um, that's where we rescued, I th think, the alchemist. Long time ago. All right, let's take a look at our map. We are heading here. This direction. All right, let's go ahead and buff up at this point. Like I said, not that we necessarily need to, but we might as well since we've got the stuff, right? Uh, we'll take one of those. I'm going to take a chicken soup and a veggie soup. And yeah, let's take the, this too. Oh, that's it's, that is considered the same food type. Okay, so we'll take a sugar. Okay, let's do this. Egerton salt mines. Yep, that is a shroud route. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't remember off the top of my head who it was that told me to go back and do these, but thanks a lot, man, because this is huge. We, know, we want to get all of these shroud routes for the skill points. I just... It hadn't occurred to me, you know. Uh, okay, cool. So that's done. Um, next, let's just keep... We'll stay here on the western end of the map. Uh, so it looks like there's... Oh, that is a shroud route. And there's something else there, too. Um, so let's go to the Rebelwood Spire, and then we'll fly our way down there. Okay, so it looks like we're heading this way. Let's do it. Grind Teeth Grotto. Yeah, we definitely have not been over here yet. So there's some kind of a, a quest as well as a shroud route over here. There's the route. Hmm. These look like teeth of a giant monster, thus the grind teeth thingy. Alright, somebody told me that the pick is better on the bugs, uh, the bug nests more precisely. So that took three hits. Let's try the axe now. So I said I was going to test this because most people say use the axe. What is that? Is that, uh, I'll bet that's amber. Yep, it sure is, okay. Um, do we have any more bugness? Yeah, okay, let's try the axe. Oh, yeah, we just one-shot that with the axe, whereas it took three hits to kill him with, uh, uh, with the pick. So it's definitely the axe and not the pick that's the most effective against that. Just for future reference. Get out of here. Okay, cool. So we got that shroud root taken care of Give ourselves some heel squirts um all right now it's kind of an interesting looking place let's take a look at the map so i think grind teeth grotto was just the location to find and then we got the shroud route is there anything about this place though that we should know about Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what the significance of this place is other than the fact that it's kind of cool looking. A and B. There was a shroud route here. 
Very well. Let's move on to the next area. So this is going to be way up north by... We've got a flame sanctum up there. Uh, so again, probably Revelwood Spire is going to be our fastest way to get up there. That's a thingy. We don't really need that right now, though. Let's grab one of these. More amber. Okay, we got a bug's nest here. Um, all right, so I guess we go this way. Yeah, there's a shit ton of amber in this place. Just for future reference. And we got ourselves another skill point. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, and a bug's nest too. This is a, a way out, I guess. Take a look and see where we are. Yeah, that's just above where we were before. Oh, look at that. A warrior chest. It's a level 13. Um, uh, wait, nope. That's not what I want to do. Let's go to character and go to here. So, uh, 24 stamina. 61 physical, 59, way less magical though. Huh. Okay, no, I think we'll keep with our our, our sharp shooter vest. I really like that four extra minutes of rested that that gives us. That's pretty good. Okay. Looks like we need to top off again here. Somebody made the kind of made a, a comment about why I don't use food to heal and the reason why is because I want to save my food buff slots for my better buff food so that's why I rely more upon potions bandages and the staff for healing uh, just FYI oh by the way I can now make the eternal um, healing uh, this thing but the eternal version of that I just need to get all of the resources for that Okay, let's go, let's take a look at our, our skills. So we now have three points. And let's see, all blunt melee damage, butcher. All melee cutting damage is increased by an additional 20%. Yeah, let's uh, let's go do that one next. And like I said, we're just going to keep working our way up the tree there. Next on the list is this place right here, Smuggler Hideout. Uh, so let's go back to the Rebelwood Spire and we'll cruise down there and see what that's all about. Oh, shit. Whoops. Uh, that, all that damage was from fall damage. All right. Trade Outpost Old Rye. Let's, um, let's get rid of this. No, hit the... Quit aiming at that guy. Oh, we got one of you. Okay, we'll grab all this stuff here. So, all right, so what's, oh, shit. 
What's supposed to be so special about this place? There's a structure over here. Another one of you. Stupid little magic ball thingies kept interrupting me. Damn it, Jim. Cut that shit out. Now, does this do anything or go anywhere? Well, there's a chest. Wizard gloves. Okay, that's a little... A little low for us and not something we probably would want to do anyways. Now that's worth getting. And uh, this gives us more time in the shroud and some magic damage as well. Okay, so this is probably the reason to come down here. I'm guessing. Because it says the, the outpost is right here, but there's not really anything here except for some amber. Very well. Okay, let's see... There's nothing really up to the north. Um, we could go... What is this? The Ancient Spire Nomad Highlands. We need to go... I think we learn a new building block if we go there. But let's finish out the Springlands first. So we've got um, a love letter and another probably shroud route right there to do. And, oh, and we got this, this one here too. Um, okay, so... I guess we're going to have to get out of the shroud the old-fashioned way first because we can't uh, uh, we can't fast travel out of here. Okay, we're clear of the muckety-muck. Um, so let's go back to the spire here. And we want to go to whatever this is. Yeah, it's a shroud route. Uh, which is that direction. Is this it here? Yeah, this is probably it here. Okay. I'm using wood arrows, right? Yeah. There's a chest down here. Yeah, that's pretty decent stuff. Is this direction? I don't see anything up there. Let's see if this goes anywhere. Not really seeing anything up here. We have a tunnel here. This is quite the maze down here, man. Oh, there's the route. I see it. Explosives. Well, you guys were also telling me that the explosives work really good on the... Uh, Bug nests, bugs nests as well. Gold chest with a hunter's bow. Um. Okay. Where is that bug nest? I want to try explosives on it. Let's not use the big explosives for that. Right there. I don't know, did that... Oh, 
Did that blow up the nest? I think it did. Oh, it didn't blow up that that nest. Okay. All right, let's get rid of this thing. Yeah, this uh this was uh quite buried down here compared to you know a lot of the other ones. Like the labyrinth in this uh cave here. That's copper, I think. Yeah. And more glowstone mining. We might uh utilize that in some building at some point. Is that where we... Yeah, that's where we dropped down. Okay, so if we would have just stayed up high and kept going, we could have gotten there. Just looking, you know, for future reference, basically. Okay, cool. So we got that shroud route done. There's nothing else up in the northwest. I think that's more in the highlands. So I think the only... We got... Okay. Yeah, no, we, we only got these two quest left in the Springlands, and that will completely take care of Springlands. So, let's go to this Low Meadows Spire. Okay, uh, we are ready to go get uh, this, and then we'll check out whatever this love letter to Queen Jasmina is. I suspect that probably has something to do maybe with... Um, Emily, just because she revealed to us at one point that she and the Queen had a thing going on. Um, let's go this way. There is some dangerous red muckety muck down there, so we need to be careful of that. And we're going this way. Also, it's, it looks like it's about time for us to rebuff, too. Well, that was lemon squeezy. No resistance whatsoever. Okay. Let's look at our skills again. Okay, so we're back up to two more points. When attacking with a melee weapon, your critical hit chance is increased by 10%. Okay, that requires four points. So why don't we go ahead and... Well, that requires three points. Yeah. We're going to want this eventually, but since it doesn't apply to our current weapon, it probably doesn't make sense. So I think we're just going to sit on those points for the moment. Oh, there's a Thunderbrood over there. How come he's just standing around? He was supposed to be protecting the, the root, but apparently he was on his coffee break or something. There's one of those... Uh, Wraith ladies. Well, I'm assuming they're ladies. Who knows, man? Um, we have a spawner here. Oh. Take one to the head. What if we... Do this. Oh, yeah. Nothing like the wood axe for removing the spawners, man. It is the bomb. Okay, so while we're in the area, we should try and check out this love letter to Queen Jasmina business. Um, yeah, let's see if we can just hoof it there. Feathered Mace, level 5. This is also level 5. Uh, okay. Also, let's set that as a waypoint so we know which direction we're going. 
Southern Caravan Camp. There we go. An old site rediscovered. I never thought I'd see the sunset on this side of the mountains again. The eventide, the eventide was brighter when I was young. A vibrant haze of lavender or grape. A mix of tangerine and marigold. A florid blush before the dark. Now gray. I pray the ancients protect the northern caravan with their glory and light. I put my faith in Cyrus. Long keep is in sight. My people tire, but we cannot rest. We have to push harder. For every soul we've lost, our step must be swift, I learned. I have a strange feeling, this dread, that I won't be able to linger, that I'll walk alone once more. Why can I not shake this fear? No, this premonition? Queen Jasmina. Okay. So, we got a silver chest here with a low-level apprentice one. And we'll check this too. Survival flask. Another survival flask and another chest. Good. All useful stuff for sure. I think we were already in here, right? Okay. That, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, concludes all of our outstanding quests, shroud routes, points of interest, etc. in the Springlands. So... Why don't we, uh, let's see, how's our time doing? Yeah, I mean, I've been recording for over an hour, but of course I'm going to edit a lot of this, so we might have a little bit more time. Why don't we go see Buka Encounter? That's probably just another boss fight there. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go back to here. Um, I want to try and see if I can harvest some aloe. Oh, you know what, though? I don't think aloe was over here. Um. Okay. I need aloe and I need, um... What is it? Agave? I don't know. No, I don't think it's agave. It's something else that I need. Yucca. I need yucca. So, and I'm not entirely sure where we get that. Let's grab this desert flower. I, I need to have a, a big harvesting sesh here in the desert, which of course is an off-camera thing. Um, but yeah, you know what? I think we have to go back to the highlands for the aloe. But whilst we're here, I just want to see if I can spot yucca real quick. I mean, yucca... It wouldn't be from palm trees, would it? Because I think we've already harvested these and we get... Home wood and what was that? Oh, that's just resin. Okay. We do need to harvest a bunch of palm wood, but again, that's going to be an off camera mining session. Um, well, okay. Um, I'm going to look around a little bit more off camera to see if I can figure out how I get yucca. But let's do one more thing before we wrap up this episode. Uh, let's go back here uh, to the highlands and see if we can harvest some aloe. I was told to use an axe on the aloe plants. Let's go find one. There we go. Okay. So that gets us our aloe. Very nice. Okay. So again, thank you to whoever left that comment for me. Really appreciate it. I don't know why in the hell I didn't uh, 
think about that, but I just had it in my mind that aloe is something we pick by hand, <laughs> not with a back. So, um, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, plan for the next episode, I think, is to, um, well, probably we're just going to get back to questing. Uh, I do want to get to here and get those those blocks. That's a new kind of block um, because, uh, oh, uh, we could use those in our upcoming building projects. And so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Ciao. Thank you.